Hey, 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 monkeys! How you doing? Damien Keys here. Should you be getting paid as a musician? That's the big, big question. However, let's rephrase that because I don't think the question's quite right. Whether it's should you be getting paid or are you getting paid? And if you're not getting paid as a musician and you want to go down that route of, of making a living as a musician, what are you doing about it? That's the big question because this is a supply and demand issue. This is, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of musicians who want to get paid for playing. What are you going to do that's going to set yourself apart? What do you bring into the party that makes you better or more employable than everybody else? At the end of the day, when it comes to making money at music, demanding money doesn't work. Just saying, you have to pay me this. Not unless you get into the top echelons of playing. That doesn't work because at the beginning of your career, there are far too many people who are willing to play for free. And whether you like it or whether you're not, whether it's right or whether it's wrong, this is supply and demand. There are literally thousands and thousands of musicians that will go in the studio for free, that will do a gig for less money than you. So what you've got to do is you've got to get to that point where you're, you've proved yourself. This isn't just about can you play or can you not play. That doesn't, that doesn't come into that. This is what makes you more employable. And you're doing free gigs and you're doing free studio studio sessions and you're building more content until so someone comes up to you and approaches you and says, I would like you to do this for me. And you're more likely, not saying you will, but you're more likely to start getting paid. This is supply and demand and you work your out piece by piece by piece. And too many musicians are trying to jump straight onto the gravy train. Too many musicians are in college trying to jump on into functions bands where you earn a thousand pounds a night. Fuck, no chance. Like, it's not gonna happen. You are not gonna go in college to jumping onto a thousand pounds a night and actually be able to do that 70 to 100 times a year, unless you go back to the beginning and say, hang on a minute, let's learn our trade, let's go and do a bunch of free gigs, let's go, let's go and fuck it up for a start, and then get better and better and make the contacts and prove to the world that we can do this before we start trying to go in at that top end level. Same thing for a session, session player. I wanna get sessions. Someone says, okay, do you wanna play on my record? And they go, how much am I gonna get paid? Nothing, you've never done this before. This is about you learning earning a trade, it's supply and demand. And whether you like it or not, the reason for that is because there's this many musicians and there's this much work. So you're fighting for that work. So what are you doing to make yourself more employable? Whether we've talked about before, whether it's driving, whether it's owning a car, whether it's owning a PA, whether it's being able to play other instruments, whatever it's gonna be, you have to be able to bring this to the party. So the question shouldn't be, should you be getting paid? It's, are you getting paid? And if not, and that's fine. If not, what is it that you are doing so that in one year's time you are more likely to get paid? Because let's look at this as a long-term career. Have a think about that and hit me up. Hit me up. I want to know, I want to know what you think about this because one thing I find really funny is when I talk about money, everyone goes quiet. When I talk about you know, you can do this, inspiration and band and all that kind of stuff. Everyone's, everyone's quick to jump on it. When it comes to money, everyone wants to shy away. And the thing is, is you guys have to survive. And my job is to try and bring you into a world where you can make enough money to survive long term over a 30, 40, 50 year career. And I can help you with that. But it is something that you can't shy away from. It's something that's got to be talked about. So hit me up, put, put a comment below. Tell me what you think. And let's actually debate this. Let's chat this. Uh, I'd love it if you like it because again, the algorithm will really help. It'll get to more people. So please, please, please like it and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, any questions, give me a shout. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.